Okay, so in the previous video, I talked about obtaining standard errors. Those are robust to address elasticity after the OLS estimation. Just like the standard errors, it is also possible to obtain the F test and the LM test that we talked about in uh, chapter 5 when there is heteroscedasticity in the model and make uh, the F test and LM test robust to heteroscedasticity. And this type of F test will be called heteroscedasticity robust F test. It is also called heteroscedasticity robust wall statistic. In this video, I'm going to give you two examples of obtaining a heteroscedasticity robust F statistic. In the first example, I'm going to use uh, this GPA3 dataset and we are interested in the effect of some academic gender and racial attributes in determining cumulative GPA of individuals. And we are interested in knowing whether race has any impact on uh, cumulative GPA. And again, as was in the previous case, there is not much difference between the usual standard errors and uh, heteroscedasticity robust standard errors. And since our goal here is to test this hypothesis that whether race has any impact on cumulative GPA, I'm going to save this hypothesis and then I'm going to get the usual F test. And as we can see, the F value is 0.67 and the p-value is 0 0.50 and again we do not go beyond a, a p-value of above 10. So in this case the usual f-test is failing to reject this null hypothesis. But we know that there may be heteroscedasticity in the model and we want to make this f-test robust to heteroscedasticity. And again I'm going to use this linear hypothesis uh, function my first argument here is the saved regression equation. My second argument is our null hypothesis. And finally, we have variance covariance matrix. And here we are using the y correction to correct for heteroscedasticity. So let's go ahead and look at the results. Okay, so the f value here is 0.74, which is not very different from the earlier or the usual f value that we find. The p-value is 0.47, which is also not very different that we got with the usual f-test. So in both of these cases, we fail to reject the null hypothesis using either test. In this second example, I'm going to use this crime data set and uh, we can look at the standard errors. So see, there's a huge difference between uh, the t-value of uh, the standard error here and the standard error here. So sometimes there could be differences, those are significant. For example, in this case, this variable is statistically significant at 8%. On the other hand, when we make it robust, uh, it is st statistically significant at about 1%. So it's a huge difference. Next, I'm going to test my hypothesis that every sentence and the square of it are statistically significant or not. Using the F-test, this null hypothesis is rejected at 17%, so we fail to reject this null hypothesis. But if we make uh, our F-test heteroscedasticity robust, we can see that uh, the F-value is 4.78 as compared with 1.72 in the usual case, and we are rejecting this null hypothesis at about 1%. So it seems like here our robust F-test is showing us a completely different picture as compared with the usual F-test. So if there is a heteroscedasticity in your model, be careful about making the statistical inferences about the T-test and the F-test. Make sure that you have robust T statistic and F statistic before making any inferences. Okay, so that was if we are using OLS estimator. Next, we're going to talk about testing for heteroscedasticity and then after finding heteroscedasticity in the model, I'm going to talk about two types of uh, corrections. The first is weighted least squares and the other is uh, the feasible general least squares. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.